Hello everyone and welcome to our highlights of the first night of competition here in Brisbane for Oz Cycling's Track National Championships and Kate Bates, it was a great first night of racing. It was a sensational night out on the boards for the first finals for these Track National Championships and it kicked off with the Para 500 metre time trial. Fastest time so far after the first lap, 24.3 for the 250 metres. So this is on song to put herself right at the very top of the table. Molly Thatcher's time of 43.8 is seriously in danger as Sharon Boyd comes into the final straight to complete her two laps. And 41.5, so she's taken two and a half seconds off Molly Thatcher's time. And Sharon Boyd now sits right at the top of the table. The second event also for the Paras was the men's 1,000 metre time trial, which also included two tandem races as well for the men and the women. The Western Australians, Kane Paris being piloted by Luke Zachariah. So far, so good. No issues this time. Second quickest overall time so far. That maintains. Now both digging deep down the back straight, trying to keep that high speed up. Just drifting left and right a little bit, going a bit high through the final bend as well. 104.5 was the time set by Shipley as the quickest, and 104.215. So the tandem pairing of Kane Paris and Luke Zachariah just bringing it home a little bit on that final lap to go faster than Michael Shipley. Up next on track was the men's sprint. They had their quarterfinals, uh, Scott, before the women headed out on track for their sprint quarterfinals. And I'll come around to get the bell. Hoffman in control. The South Australian, very good over a short acceleration, but he's had to go now for a lap or so. And Cornish has been pressuring, pushing from behind. Now he comes, the rider from New South Wales. He's the faster of these two in the flying 200 metres. And just a little bump of shoulders as he comfortably goes around the outside. Well, wow, looked over the shoulder as well and almost ran off the inside of the track as well was Mengele Moore, Molly McGill, second position as they go down the back straight, out of the saddle again from the youngster McGill. So trying to get up onto the hip of Mengele Moore, but just can't quite muscle away around the outside. So Jackie Mengele Moore in a real tight tussle comes away with that win. With the fastest riders off the track, it was time for the endurance athletes and the elite men's individual pursuit. The bronze medal, that was won by South Australia's Oliver Bledden. And the race for gold was between Queensland's James Moriarty and the big Western Australian, Connor Lay. He'll come around to get two laps to go now, Connor Lay. The Western Australian cannot get beaten from here. It's going to be a four-peat. Four national individual pursuit championships in a row for the big Western Australian. A brilliant performance from him. And James Moriarty, he's not letting in just yet. He's going to finish this off. He'll only be a few seconds behind the time of Connor Lay as he gets the bell. One more lap of the track to go. Now it's one more lap for James Moriarty. It's a respectful ride from the Queenslander. We say how he's come on these last couple of years. He really indeed has. Connor Lay picks up the gold medal and look at that time, 4.09.9 and a 4.14 for the silver medalist. The final gold medal for this evening was for the women's individual pursuit. The bronze medal went to Western Australian rider Isla Carr and it was Sophie Edwards from South Australia racing against Claudia Marks for the gold. Starting to come back a little bit now. 1.5 seconds is the difference. Has Edwards gone a little bit too hard early on? She has the experience. She's been at the National Championship so many times, more than Claudia Marks. And as they come through this time, 1.3 now. They'll come around to get a lap and a half to go. It's still a big gap, but it's going in the right direction for Claudia Marks. Are there enough laps of the track left, though, for her to steal the gold medal from the clasp of Sophie Edwards? One more lap to go. The gap now, 1.3. So they maintained on that last lap. So I don't think there's enough distance for Marks to come back and steal the gold. Edwards, half a lap to go for her. She has slowed slightly in the last couple of laps, but it's not going to make a difference. It's gold to South Australia. Sophie Edwards gets the win and just closing it down to 1.5 in the end Claudia Marks picks up the silver medal good battle at the end a little bit quicker as well there for Sophie Edwards than she had in her qualifying
The first night of racing was an absolute cracker and we will see the sprint competition for the elite women and elite men come to a conclusion on the second night. We'll also see the para-athletes back on the track for the individual pursuit. So make sure you tune in for the second night of competition here at the Oz Cycling Track National Championships from Brisbane.